You know, when it comes to watches in 2023, nothing screams luxury more than an integrated bracelet. Now, are they particularly practical? No. Are they cool? Definitely. And if watches with integrated bracelets are luxurious, then a gold watch with an integrated bracelet and a Louis Vuitton logo on the dial is the height of decadence. Hey, my name's Jamie, I'm Time and Tide's new Australian editor, and I want to talk to you today about the Louis Vuitton Tambour in gold, which represents not only a high watermark for gold integrated bracelets, but also for Louis Vuitton watchmaking. Now, you might have already seen us go in depth with the new Tambour in stainless steel earlier this year. If you haven't, go give that a watch. Today we want to focus in on the gold models. Compared to previous iterations of the Tambour, which featured thick, drum-like cases, the new Tambour is a much thinner beast, comfortably fitting under a cuff with a much less pronounced profile. Previous Tambour designs, to my eyes at least, were somewhat, well not artless, but an acquired taste, especially when imagined in precious metals. Yes, having a big, bulbous slab of gold on one's wrist definitely screams wealth, but it lacks savoir-faire, as the French like to say. This isn't the case with the new Tambour in gold, which at 40mm in diameter and only 8.3mm thick is positively dressy. It's got an almost lugless look, thanks in part to the clever design of the integrated bracelet, which connects to the watch inside a shoulder on the back of the case. More importantly, this design is extremely ergonomic, which is important when you're lugging a big hunk of Swiss gold around on your wrist. The links of the new Louis Vuitton Tambour are also elegantly designed. Wide, flat, brushed links alternate with thin, polished, stadium-shaped ones, which catch the light brilliantly. The bracelet has a curvaceous, somewhat organic look. When making an integrated bracelet, balance is key, both visually and ergonomically. LV have nailed it with these new Tambours. Now, if we flip the watch over, you'll see that it's not just its case that's received a Midas touch. The new Tambour's LFT-023 movement, a co-creation of Louis Vuitton's La Fabrique du Temps and the renowned Le Cirque de Hollegere, features a solid gold micro rotor engraved with dozens of little LV logos, which stands out against the perlage steel main plate of the movement. Here, the use of gold is both aesthetic and functional. Gold's heavier than steel, so it's commonly used in the creation of micro rotors, which are widely considered a sign of haute horlogerie. The dial of the new Louis Vuitton tambour is also a classy affair, and one that's filled with gold. A somewhat 1930s-esque sector design, each sector is delineated with polished gold indices and dividers, as well as semi-skeletonized gold alpha hands tipped with loom. LV have produced three full gold tambours, one in 18 karat rose gold with a chocolate brown dial, and two in 18 karat yellow gold, one with a blue dial and one with a grey dial. You might have seen the latter on the wrist of football superstar Lionel Messi as he collected his eighth Ballon d'Or, while the blue one has so far only been spotted on the wrists of Paris Fashion Week models. Personally, I find myself particularly drawn to the chocolate dialed rose gold model. There's not enough watchmakers who make brown dials, and the Tambours is truly exceptional. The crisp sector dial perfectly complements its almost ganache-like hue. But what colour do you like the most? Let me know in the comment section below. It would be interesting to see what Louis Vuitton himself would make of the Tambour, especially in gold. His namesake brand has, over the last 169 years, evolved far beyond just trunks and suitcases. In particular, Louis Vuitton's watchmaking has become increasingly mature in recent years, with the new Tambour representing an important turning point for the Maison. It's a real statement of intent. Louis Vuitton is a serious watchmaker, and these gold Tambours are seriously special watches. The Louis Vuitton Tambour in both rose gold and yellow gold retails for 88,000 Australian dollars. Now that's a dramatic step up in price from stainless steel. It's more than double. But if you really want to flex, there's no substitute for gold. Now, if you've enjoyed this video and you haven't already subscribed to Time and Tide, consider joining the tribe. It'd really help us out. Until next time, don't be a stranger.